What's up everyone, Shazad here and this is my full review of Liquid Smooth ROM for Galaxy S3. It is a stock ROM based on Android 4.4.4 KitKat. This ROM is fully packed with tons of useful features and if I go and explain each of them it would take a long time. So I'm only going to show you some of the key features which I personally enjoy in this ROM and miss in Cyanogen mod. In settings we have some new options like interface in which we have some options like gesture anywhere which allows you to open apps with gestures. You can also change how the hardware button reacts. You can change the speed and color of your progress bar. You can also have a new look for your recent app switcher. One more awesome thing is when you press and hold a app in your recent panel, you can enable floating mode of that app. You can snap it to top or bottom and have a multi-window like experience. And this works with all of your apps. You can easily turn on and off your soft key navigation bar in one click. In status bar settings, you can change your battery icons like dotted circle with battery percentage and others. You can also enable double tap to sleep and play around with other settings. Here are some of my favorite settings. In this ROM, it has an active display like Moto X which works great and because of the AMOLED display in S3, it doesn't drain your battery that much. And we have some other options like uh, you can turn on and off Halo notifier and change a look of your notification drawer. It also have a Pi control which I'm sure everyone knows what it is. And this ROM also has a theme chooser, so you can apply new themes. And you can switch on the total blackout mode, which turns the whole system UI black to save more battery. So as I said, there are tons of tons of settings, so you can personalize everything on your device. For lock screen, we have a gesture unlock. With developer options, we have some advanced options in which you can turn on V-Clock Blocker and there are lots of advanced settings. So moving forward to the lock screen, it looks like a normal lock screen but when you get a new notification, you get a pop-up on the right edge and you can swipe it to see some details. Another cool thing about the notification is when your device is unlocked and you get a notification, you can swipe it towards the left and it will open that app in a floating window which comes in really handy. And if you are wondering how I get this Android L soft keys, it is an expose module called Android L navigation bar. Apart from all this, the ROM is super smooth, battery life is also great. If you want to control small small things on your device and simply need more functionality, do check this out for yourself. And that's pretty much it for this video. I have shown you all new features and settings which really makes this ROM great. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And feel free to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.